Hello everybody, it's Mary with Samson Lingers and it is um, Saturday night at 7 o'clock which means it is time for a video tutorial. Give me just a second to be sure that I'm transmittalating on the right place. It's always a trick. Will I pick the correct group? Will I get it sideways not upways? One never knows. It's like I learn a new thing every week. Alright, so here's the card I got made for you today. And it uses what is a new to me stamp set called Bright Bobbles. And it has a very pretty matching die set called Delicate Bobbles. And as you might have been able to tell from looking at this, it makes Christmas ornaments. Very pretty. Hey Bree, hi Brooke. Hello Roz and Nancy and Linda and Pam and Chris and hey Amy. Hi Angie. Appreciate y'all joining. Hello Denise. Thank you for spending part of your weekend with me. So Hopefully this will go relatively quickly. This is the card. Um, you can see it has an embossed background using the Merry Melody 3D embossing folder and it's in Sahara Sand and I inked the folder before I embossed it so I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I've made Sahara Sand delicate um, die cuts and put them against just some basic black. And this one says Merry and Bright, this one says Joy, so I thought to you and yours was plenty good. On the inside, I just stamped the ornament in third generation Sahara sand, and, and that was really pretty much it. I did add it to the envelope as well, and then I used a little bit of heartwarming hugs on the envelope flap. So there we go, already. Thanks, Faith. I did. I felt mostly like it. Not a lot of mojo, so it's... Uh, I'm I'm not overly thrilled with the card, but it it turned out it turned out pretty. I'm happy with it. It just took me a minute to figure it out. My brain was not really functioning very well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. As you'll be happy to know, I'm certain sure I've gotten some stuff pre-cut so that you won't have to worry about it. You can just read all about it tomorrow on my blog. All right, you can see my my coloring scheme is real red, black, and Sahara sand. So what let's do first is play with this Sahara sand card front. And I'm using the Merry Melody 3D embossing folder. Now there are two sides to the folder, right? One side embosses, and the embossing side is the one that has writing on it. The other side is debossing. So you could really use either one. We had a good idea the other day when I was demoing this. Ink both sides. And then you can pick which side you prefer. But I already did that, and I know that I want the embossing side. So what I'm going to do, and hopefully this will work. Hey, Lenny, good to see you too. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Tanya, I certainly do understand. So I've got my Sahara Sand ink pad, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it along. And I'm not going to worry about it being real dark or being able to see it real well. I know it's there. I can see it. I, I hope you can. But if you can't, you may just have to trust me on this. And that is all I'm going to do right there. So then you want to place your cardstock rather carefully. Don't smear it all around or it kind of smears the embossing. And then go ahead and... Maybe don't close it quite like that. There, we'll close it. Try to get it straight, especially when you have something like music. All right, now give me one second. I'm gonna emboss this back here in my um, uh, my cutting machine. And I'm using the basic platform plus the gray specialty plate because this is a 3D embossing folder. So everybody hold your breath, cross your fingers, your toes, and your eyes. And let's make sure, hope this will come out well. I did, just to hedge my bets, cut a second card front. Hey, Joan. Just to be sure that it would do what I wanted it to do. And it did exactly what I wanted it to do, actually. So it's not very dark, and that's fine. All I was really trying to do was just kind of pull out those notes, and that's exactly what it did. Okay? So... There we go. I'll put that aside now before I have more ink catastrophe than I have already tried to have. And I'm gonna put these out of my way. Now, let's go ahead and just uh, mat this on our basic black panels. One panel, it's just one panel. I don't know why I said panels. So we had an interesting thing this morning. We did go to, um, I went to Costco and Sam's today. I figured if leaning against the cart didn't do it, I could always get one of those 
little righty things. <laughs> I didn't have to do it. I managed to keep, I didn't have to do it. So that was good. I was glad because I did do that long ago when my leg was broken and it's a little, I, I didn't enjoy it very much. Okay. So there we have our card front. Now we're going to make us some ornamentes, some ornamentes. Thanks, Jean. I appreciate that. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, Cherie. Hey, Jaretta. Back in Floridia. Floridia. All right. I have two of the solid die uh, ornaments, and it's this one and this one. Now, this is kind of interesting. Both of these round detailed dies work with this one solid die. You can see how pretty the, um, the snowflake is. I almost used it, but I really liked how the joy looked, so that's what I went with. So I'm just going to put this in my extra die cut bowl. And now I'm going to take a little bit of liquid glue and adhere these to their black solid ornament pieces. And you don't need a lot. Really trust me on that. You really do not need a lot. Try to get a little bit around the, all the way around the edges a little bit. And it really just, you really just don't need a lot of this. It's very, very, very good adhesive. All right. And then we're going to adhere that there like a shoe. And you can turn it over and give it a little rub. Daylight savings already? That's not this weekend, is it? Is that today? Do we do that tonight? Uh-oh. Somebody tell me. Do we do that tonight? No. Surely that would have been like on the news and stuff. Usually they herald that for weeks and months and days before we go to that. Because that would be so depressing. Ugh. Hey, Mickey. Appreciate you joining. All right. So then we'll just do the other one. The other one. And you do kind of want, on this one, you want to be sure you get some of these little tails of the, of the sentiment. You don't need that hanging chad right there. Anyway, so this morning before we left, I was um, in the bedroom getting changed so that we could go. And I looked up and there was a panel van driving down my barn driveway <laughs> at 8.30 in the morning. And I'm like that's really odd. I didn't think anybody was coming. And I was like, you know, people can't get in because we have a closed gate. So I'm hollering. I didn't have clothes on. So I'm hollering for Wayne. Wayne, Wayne, there's somebody going to the bar. <laughs> so he goes flying out. It turns out it was a FedEx truck. And apparently they've now taken to leasing un FedEx branded trucks to make deliveries at 830 in the morning on Saturday. So I was like, okay. <laughs> That was very bizarre. So I said to Wayne, I said, did you maybe leave the gate open yesterday? <laughs> and it's really odd. You, all of a sudden you feel very exposed and kind of like everything is not very safe. And yeah, it was good for panic. But, you know, if you think about it, when we first moved here back in like 2003, it was two, maybe even two and a half years before we had the, the place fenced in and a gate. So we, we lived here for two and a half years with not only no gate, but no fence. But now, if the gate is left open at night, we're like, oh, 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 that's so scary. All right. Now, I also took, this is the cutest little die. This makes a little hangy ribbon doohickey that you can adhere to the top, and then you have a hanger for your ornament. So I've done two of them. This one, I only did part of it because all I really wanted was the bow. So that is all I cut. Daylight savings is November. Okay, phew, phew, still got a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just cutting off the top, the that little bit of the, the hanging down string that stayed on there, okay? Oh, come on now. Wait a minute, it just dropped to the floor. Hang on a sec, hang on. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to use a little liquid glue behind where the knot would be if this was a real live bow. And I'm going to stick it right there, right there like that, just like that. Okay. And then on the other one, I'm going to give it the full meal deal, the whole thing. And I'm going to adhere it to my ornament like that, trying to make it as straight up and down as I can. Okay. 
And then these little guys, I'm going to put one like this and one like this, like that. And what I want to do is I'm actually going to go over the top of this one on here, I think. I am going to put it on my card front. Yeah, this was a white truck, a dingy white truck <laughs> that didn't look like it really was supposed to be here, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to scooch that off of the card front there. And actually, I want this under because I want to be able to see more joy. And I'll cover up some of the holly on that other ornament. But see, if you put the card front on the front of the card base, you can successfully overflow the edges of your card front without overflowing the edges of your card base because you don't want to do that because you want it to go in your envelope. All right, and so that is where those are going to go. And I'm just going to put them on with some liquid glue. Okay. And we'll just put that right there, making sure that the top of that bow does not extend over the top of the card base. Now, if I was a little braver, I would just go right ahead and adhere this card front to the front of the card, but I'm not, and so I'm not going to. Can't make me. All right, we'll do the same with this little guy and put a little bit of liquid glue right up here on his little hanger, on his little hanger. Catch me, internet's acting up. Okay, Linda, thank you. Oh, yeah, sometimes we don't have enough internet for Facebook Lives. So what I want to do is I want to be sure that I'm not really covering up this sentiment, but I also want the hanger to be at the top of that part of the card base, okay? And I'm going to turn it, push it over just enough that it's not overlapping that ornament very much, okay? But, I mean, it can if it wants to. It won't hurt it. Let me wipe up that little bit of um, excess glue that I just dropped on there. And make that straight. Okay, so there are ornaments. While those are drying, we'll make our sentiment. And I already stamped to you and yours. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut each end off like so. And then I'm going to make a banner. And you just do that by snipping up in the middle and then go from the corner to the center and the corner to the center. All right, and then I'm going to take my black Stampin' Right marker and just give that a little edge. I suppose if you wanted, you could also make a corresponding black cardstock mat, but I actually think that's plenty right there. Alrighty, so I will take some black dimensionales. Black dimensionales. Oh yes, you really, really, really want this embossing folder. It is gorgeous. I love it, and I hope it makes it into our next annual catalog. I really do. Stampin' Up, are you listening? They might be listening. They might not be. We don't know. I mean, I would like to think that they think my lives are important enough to watch, but I somehow kind of sort of doubt it. All right, so I'm just putting that on my die, on my card front straight, and then I'm going to adhere this as straight as my Mark I eyeball can make it. Then I'll take a few red rhinestones. Yes, these are my EK Tools craft tweezers, and they're a reverse tweezer, and I use them like a third hand, so... I have reached the point where I can really kind of hardly <laughs> do anything without them. It's, it's a little bit embarrassing, really. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a few more because I really like these little red guys. I'm going to put a few more around because they're fun and they're pretty. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I need a seven. Remember the rule of odd numbers. And let's put one right up here. I like that. Okay, so there is our card front. Please let that be crooked because my card is crooked. Okay, there we go. Whew. There we go. All right. Now, on the inside, very, 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 very simple. You can see I've had an ink catastrophe, so hopefully this side will work or I'll have to get another piece of cardstock. What I did here is I took the large um, 
round ornament and I inked it. Thank you, Carol. I inked it with my Sahara sand and I'm going to use third generation stamping. So here's first generation, second generation, and then I'm going to do the third generation right in the middle of my card panel. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm doing nothing else because I've made it, I want it very light so that I can just write my message right over the top. And you would be able to do that very easily. It's plenty light enough. All right. And we'll put that on our basic black mat. See, I always hate it when I mess up one side because, you know, the old cardstock has two sides thing goes right out the window when you mess up one side before you ever even get going, right? It's like, okay, strike one. Hopefully it won't go downhill from there. And then I've got a real red card base, and I'm going to put this in the middle. Let me go ahead and give that another little, little crease there. And I do know that some people like to put their card fronts and liners in with the card not folded, but my brain doesn't work that way very well. It just doesn't. So I can't. I just can't. I won't. You can't make me. All right. A little liquid glue there. And then I'll use some more of my black dimensionals. I love that we have black dimensionals. I don't know why that tickles me so much, but it really, really does. All right. We pulled out the, uh, we have an inversion table in the garage that we don't use very much. But it's kind of like, apparently it's kind of like the KitchenAid. You don't need it all the time, but when you need it, you need it. And it turns out that laying on that for just a few minutes really kind of helped my back. That and the uh, the Flexerol, even though the Flexerol, my goodness, mm, it just throws me for a big old solid loop. So it's good for going to bed. But I do think it's getting better. I think my back is trying to be better. Hopefully tomorrow it will be better yet. And then maybe by Monday it will be done completely. All right, here we go. Just make sure we're doing right side up. I almost didn't. Hello. Alrighty. And let's see, I see a little ink there. So I'm gonna just do a little bit. Y'all, if you don't have a rubber er adhesive eraser, I highly recommend that you have one. It can really make the difference between losing a card and keeping a card, if you know what I mean, jelly bean. Oh, picked that right up. See how well it worked? Okay. All right, and there is our card. So what I'm gonna do with my envelope flat, my envelope now, is I'm gonna take that same ornament and I'm gonna use full, I better cut, close this up. Full strength Sahara sand. Thanks, Faith, I appreciate that. Appreciate all the hearts and thumbs up too. Thank y'all. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put that in the corner like this in full strength, so first generation. And then, everybody hold your breath that I can get this lined up the way I want it. I'm going to take real red and this very adorable little bow. Now, I recommend, especially when you're trying to line up a rubber stamp where you can't see through it with an image, if you can uh, go ahead and give that a little shot, a little practice doha, that would be good. Okay, so that's pretty close. I'll be, I'll be right on. I'm going to go ahead and pull this to me, guys, because I'd like to get this as close as possible. There we go. Perfect. Isn't that such a cute little image? I love this bow. That's one of my favorite bows ever, maybe. All right, here we go. And then I pulled some real red... Um, DSP from the Heartwarming Hugs, and that's what's going to go on the envelope flap. Like so. And then we're going to do the world's easiest fussy cut and trim that off, and we'll be done ske. We be done ske. Of course, I did not get on the treadmill this morning, so my watch is giving me the stink eye. 
You know you can still do it, Mary. You only have half of your calories for the whole day, and it's 7 o'clock. You can still do it, Mary. It's so worth it, Mary. Shut up, watch. I'm not walking on the treadmill today. Shut up. Okay, and there we go. Mary and Bright and Joy. So this is the Bright Bobbles stamp set with the matching Delicate Bobbles dies and the Ever Wondermus, Ever Wondermus Mary Melody 3D embossing folder. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I appreciate you spending part of your weekend with me. And I will see you guys on, hmm, Thursday at 1 o'clock for a YouTube live tutorial. Don't know what we're going to do, but I will by then. All right. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks. Bye.